Hey everyone, so the other day I showed you how to connect your Steam Deck or Switch or your Legion Go to your Quest 3. And you could do that wirelessly using the wireless transmitter. But today I'm showing you how you can connect your handheld PC, so your Legion Go or your ROG Ally, wirelessly with no added hardware. So let's see how we can get that done. Okay, and super quick, just like the last couple of videos, this video is part of a paid partnership with Meta, but all opinions are my own and Meta has had no say on this content. Also, if you click any of the affiliate links down below, you might get a discount and it might support me monetarily. Okay, now let's get to how this works. I'll break this up into two parts similar to the last couple of videos as well. In the second part, I'm gonna show you how to get it done, so feel free to just jump ahead if you wanna do that. In this section though, let me just tell you what this does and what you can and can't do. Using the Mixed Reality Link or the Windows app on Quest 3, you'll be able to connect to your Legion Go or ROG Ally wirelessly like I'm showing you here. In doing so, you'll be able to play with multiple windows up in your Quest 3 or play on a super big immersive screen. From my rough estimate, it looks like it's almost a 100 inch screen as it is curved and it takes up almost my entire field of view. The added bonus here is that the Legion Go is capable of doing something like FPS mode, which lets you detach the controllers and use the right controller as a mouse, so you don't need to add an extra Bluetooth controller. Or of course you can just detach the controllers. Once again, you can do this with your ROG Ally or even like a 1X Player 2 or the GPD Win Mini. You just want to add a Bluetooth controller because that way you don't have to hold the device. And if you're doing any kind of productivity, of course a mouse and keyboard are a must. And speaking of the keyboard though, the added benefit here, even though it might not be showing up on screen, is that when you connect it with your Quest 3, a little button shows up where you can just tap on it or click it, and then it will ask you to pair your device. And of course, you don't have to do this with your handheld. You can do this with a desktop PC or even your laptop as well. All right, now that you've gotten the gist of just how bad I am at games, it's time to do the tutorial. Let's do that now in part two. Okay, here we are with part two, and here's what you need. You need your Legion Go or handheld PC, Ideally, you also have a keyboard and a mouse. The keyboard makes it easier to connect. Then, obviously, you need your Quest 3 or your Quest 3S. That's it. So the first thing you want to do on your Legion Go or your handheld PC is navigate to this website and download the Windows Mixed Reality Link app. Now, it's kind of hard to find this website, I'm assuming because it's in beta or preview, but just check the link in the description and that will take you directly to the Microsoft download page. Once you've clicked through everything and installed the app, you're going to see a QR code like this. I've blurred it out for obvious reasons. The next thing you want to do is you're going to switch over to your Quest 3 or Quest 3S. From here, you want to make sure that you're on version 72. You can do this by checking in your settings menu. Just click on the battery bar or the time at the bottom, and then it will pull up the general menu, and then click on the gear icon for the settings. After that, you want to navigate over to advanced settings and see that experimental features, particularly the one with Mixed Reality Link or the Windows app, is enabled. Now something to note here, as of this video, some people have had issues with version 72 installing that bricked their Quest 3s. Just reach out to Meta for that and they should be able to help you. Once you've ensured that the experimental features are enabled, then you can go ahead and click on the other experimental features if you want to try them out. From here, you want to open up your store, the shopping icon, down in your home menu. Then search for Windows app. After you click through and install that, it might ask you to also install the remote desktop app. Don't worry, those apps are connected. Once you've clicked through and allowed all the permissions in here, you will then be asked to scan a QR code. That's the same QR code that's supposed to show up on your Legion Go or handheld PC. Once you click the scan QR code, you can then look at your Legion Go screen and then it'll scan the code and then your devices will be linked. Now you should be able to see your handheld up in the big screen. Now if the handheld's display turns off, don't worry, that's normal. If the display, however, flickers and doesn't connect, there's a possibility that the aspect ratio is incorrect. I found that with the Legion Go, it really didn't like the 16 by 10 aspect ratio. So you want to switch it to something like 1920 by 1080. Now, if you've been faffing around with the eGPUs like I have, there's a possibility that it won't work properly with the eGPU installed because you've used the AMD 780M drivers. Unfortunately, I wasn't able to find a workaround with this, and the best thing that I found to do was to uninstall all the drivers and just use the ones that came installed from Legion Space. If you are having trouble setting the resolution to 1080p or lower on your Legion Go, leave a comment down below because that's beyond the scope of this video. After that though, you are pretty much ready to go, and you can look like a clown like me, or maybe don't. Now obviously there are some catches to this setup, but you can enjoy some big screen gaming pretty much free with no added hardware or no added cost. So what'd you think? And as always, see you in the next quest. <laughs>